It was described as a major threat to our planet, the hole in the ozone layer. But the way we reacted was unprecedented. In 1985, scientists discovered that so-called CFCs, used in products such as aerosols and refrigerators, were burning a hole in the ozone layer. In 1987, despite strong resistance from industry, the international community then signed the Montreal Protocol, which bans ozone-depleting substances, or ODSs. The effect was almost immediate, a dramatic decrease in the space of just 25 years. Experts now expect the ozone layer to recover by the middle of this century. And the US Environmental Protection Agency says that could prevent over 280 million cases of skin cancer. What was remarkable about the Montreal Protocol was its speed. It took just two years to negotiate. It's also the first ever United Nations treaty to achieve universal ratification. But reaching a landmark agreement isn't always enough. Verification is essential. Scientists have just discovered new evidence about CFC-11, one of the key substances that damages the ozone layer. After Montreal, countries reported decreasing rates of CFC-11 production. That's the blue line. Since CFC-11 only disappears slowly from the atmosphere, scientists expect only a slow reduction. That's the red line. In 2010, however, its levels started rising again, as the yellow line shows. That suggests that someone somewhere is still secretly producing CFC-11. So the search is now on for the culprit. Once found, that culprit will probably come under severe peer pressure. And it's that concerted peer pressure and the human capacity to find solutions to environmental challenges that makes me believe we can save our planet, despite our destructive tendencies.